let's listen to this video all right uh waking up to two dead notes post about me and then of course you go let's go comment yeah then i saw one particular comment that says after i don't sell in bola for money the truth is that this particular comment i see it almost everywhere if i tell you every other thing i've done for money that's um selling bola will not be at the top of your list anymore i've actually given a man up for money this particular person i've given up a lot of your celebrities have done worse to this person than me. Do you understand? For the other ones that you are doing and you are worshipping, if you see the things that they've done for money, you'll be surprised. Do you understand? Now, I've done a lot of things for money in my life. I've sold pure water in area one, you know, area one corner air filling station. Um, I've sold cola nuts. I've hawked bread. Um, I've done motoshara. For people that don't know motoshara, like you carry by um, wheelbarrow, you go to different house for them to put trash. You know, I've done Mirua like um, push truck with water in it, like people that sell um, water in jerry cans. You know, I've done Mirua, I've done car washing on Sundays for people that go to Redeem Church in, in Lube. Even the water thing, supply water, I did that in Lube. Um, what else? I've gambled a lot. Um, to be honest, I can't remember all right now, but I know for free that I've done a lot of hustles in this life then when i started becoming a man really good looking yeah um i started getting offers from different men from different men mostly not even really women they were different a lot of men you know these men were even giving me money at the time um until one time you understand this particular man went to his house started with a massage from a massage um it got to a point where i got offered more money for a hand job and then um i was asking my friend that time my friend would be like oh there's this thing because actually they, there's this thing um they call it gay for pay in lagos it's plenty in lagos gay for pay and then there's gay for pay and then there's being gay um that's what they told me they said according to them that gay for pay is the ones that do it for the money do you understand and then the ones that do it because they like it that oh if i'm doing it for the money it's not what it is i just sat down and asked myself that way what 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 Look, you are talented, yeah? You are very, very talented, you know? You can do hair. Don't be doing your dreadlocks, bro. Don't let quick money turn you to what you are not, you know? You can do hair. You are a born hustler. You are a hustler. You that have sold pure water. You have sold all these things. What are you doing? This is not the kind of money you want. So if I come online to talk here and I see people troll, in my head I'm like, oh. These people, I wish they know the kind of mentality this boy has. I wish they know the kind of things I've seen. That's why when I come online and I advise people, it will be as if, okay, I feel like I know too much. No, it's not because of that. It's because I have too many experience for my age. Um, enough. I'm not going to come off aggressive this time because I've repented. But this is the reason why. I come for a very dark man and it looks as if we are having a banter or we are fighting for something. Some people say I like him. No. I know very dark man's story right from when there are some things I don't want to say on the internet, but what very dark man is doing is that you know when person no saying don't they cast in just one con using hand, con the sugar coat. Very dark man, you live the very dirty life <laughs> people that know you you were very popular living a dirty life now my only anger with you is not the life you lived it's the fact that you are judgmental you say you come online to teach people you don't teach people you come online to bash people you come online to insult people you come online to laugh at people you come online to shade people and that's why I get upset. You come online to drag women. And that's why I picked offense with you. Remember the very first video I ever dwelled of you was when you were shading women. You were saying the reason why a lot of people do lipo is because celebrities do lipo. You don't get da, 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 da. You were shading women. That was the first video I dwelled of you before you started insulting me. I know your background, I know your roots, I know your story. I know people will know you. And I know people will don't run things with you. So when I talk about you, I talk about you with so much confidence. And that's the reason why you can't face me. The only thing I want to tell you very dark, man, I think it's going to be an advice is stop shading people because you lived a very shady life. 
You said you've done a lot of stuff. You've hustled, you've done masha, you've sold water, you've done that. Why did you sell your nude? Because a man selling his nude is the lowest. You even came out publicly to say you give a man a hand job. You've even done worse than that. Yes, you know you've done worse than that. Now, it's not something to be proud of or to be bragging about. That's the reason why I come for you when you come for women, when you want to shade women, when you want to laugh at people's nudes that leak. You are the least person to do that. I expect you to use your story. See where I expect you to be tilting towards. I expect you to be telling young boys, I shall not be walk. I've done it. And it didn't pay. Very dark man, you did not stop doing what you're doing because you grew up to be a man. You stopped it because it wasn't pain. There are people who are still doing what you did and they blew from it. You didn't, it didn't work for you. And that's why I use it to shade you all the time. Because the lowest a man can go is to start to do these things you are doing. Giving man hand job and doing all those dirty stuff. That's the lowest you went to the lowest and you did not make anything out of it. That's the reason why you did not continue. Your story days streets. So stop it. In as much as you're trying to sugarcoat it and try to turn it into an inspiration, mm -mm, don't go there. You sold your nude. You did worse things for money, but you didn't make it. Tilt towards being nice. Leave women alone. Leave women who are doing prostitution. That's not your field. You are not in the right path to be talking about that. Because women face a lot of challenges. At 13, 12, 11, ordinary to go charge phone for uncle house. Because say you know get light. Uncle won't sleep with you. So prostitution for women. Let's leave that one. It's a story for another day. But for a man, a full grown man. To say he has done many a jobs, and from many a job, he decided to sell himself. You're not a man. It's not something to come out and be boasting of. It's something to be remorseful about. It's something to teach a lot of young boys. Because you have a lot of young boys as fans that are looking up to you, that are hailing you. Tell them what you did, and it did not pay. Tell them, say, I shall know they pay. That was what you did. You were a man prostitute. You sold your nude for money. That was the lowest you could go. If it was a woman that did this very dark man, you would have put your camera and you would have said a lot of trash about that woman. That's what you do. You shame women. You drag them. You put them in the lowest. You make them feel less of themselves. Well, look at you. Saying it conveniently, I gave a man a hand job. If I tell you other things I did for money, you're saying it with pride. It's not something to be proud of. It's a disgrace for you being as a man, a full grown man with chest, going to give another man hand job and do other stuff. I don't think it's something you should be saying and hating yourself. I think it's something you should be saying with tears in your eyes. And regret is something you used to be saying and teaching all our young boys and young girls. At the end of the day, you did not blow. What blew you was to you. Shows your media. Was your voice. Was your drag. Was whatever you used at the end of the day. You didn't even make anything out of this stuff. That is what I want you to teach. And I will continue to drag you. Until you start teaching people the right stuff. You're not supposed to be picking on topics. You're supposed to use yourself as an example. Use your story to liberate a lot of young boys. Who are doing the same thing that you did. I don't know if you stopped. Because you're a little bit famous right now. But stop a lot of young boys from doing it. Share your story. Share your experience. Tell them what your eyes see for streets. Look on the phone, Jagaba, and like, see, you just wake up, repent. You don't repent. Street show you, Shige. Share us. Let us within street show you. Make other boys for learn. Liberate them because you have a lot of followers. And stop capping nonsense and forming motivational speaker.